back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing an unboxing um, of all my Sephora orders. Well, I've only done one order, but I've purchased other things in store. And I was out of town and I just got back today to, San, to my house in San Diego. And yeah, I decided to do a little unboxing. But first I'll show you what I got in the store. So to start off, oh, and I'm a Rouge. I'm a Rouge member. I don't think I'm going to be a Rouge uh, this like next year because I have really haven't been buying anything since I was on a no buy. And technically I've already broken that because I've bought stuff. Um, <clears throat> <coughs> I'm eating chips though. So the first thing I bought was this Anastasia uh, lip velvet in peachy nude. I saw like Michaela talking about it and everything. And if you could see here, I don't know if you could see, you see all those little beautiful little holes? Well, I left my dog alone uh, in the room with it and she got to the stuff I had in my Sephora bag and she did that. She sure did. Everything's fine inside, but oh yeah, I totally haven't cleaned my hand from being inside the cold being inside, being inside the Sephora at Kohl's that I stopped by at. So that's the color right there. Really pretty. I still haven't worn it. I was supposed to take it when I went out of town and I totally forgot about it. But yeah, that's one thing. And then I got this Kosas, Kosas, whatever, however you pronounce it, Nano Brow Pop in dark brown, I think I got it, or brown black. So I've used it. I do like it. It's what I have on my brows right now, plus the Benefit little, I forgot what it's called, Gimme Brow, I think. But as you can see, this no longer has a cap. That would be because my dog also destroyed that. So the actual product is fine. No, she didn't mess this up. But yeah, those are two of the things I bought when I went to a Kohl's over there in, what was it, Moreno Valley? And then the rest of it is in here. So let's unbox this. I'm, I think it's at only as big as it is, like the box, because of this. So the Sephora collection stuff is 30% off for anybody so I decided to get this because the one I already have the smaller one here it's not the same this one's called refresh but I figured it's the same craft it's a daily brush cleaner um it's about to end so I got myself the 13.52 ounce so that's one thing I got this little poof it's not the same as my little velour tati sponge dupe but I'm like let's see it's a big one though it's pretty big like if you compare it to the next one that I have next to me is the Rose and Bend this one's wider from the bottom and it's got a cleaner like a sharper edge and this one's a little like it has like a weird little ball up top I don't know if that makes sense but it feels really soft compared to the Rose and Bend like super soft so let's put that one on back. Got this in this Hello Sunday, the Invisible One SPF sunscreen and primer. Never heard of this brand. I saw it and I needed a new SPF. Well, I didn't need one. I wanted one. So cute. This is it. So it just says broad spectrum SPF 50 sunscreen, water and sweat resistant uh, sunscreen, sunscreen and primer. So. I'll have to give that a try. Let's see, let's see. That was part of the online order as well. These are the glow peel pads. So I had the ones from Pacifica and I finished those. So I used to use the Elemis ones, but you know, it's a little pricey. And now I don't know. It smells like a, a fruit juice or something. I don't know. Uh, but this one I got it in, it just says Glow Peel Pad. So it's 6% AHA and PHA. Unscented. Well, that's a lie. Smells like something, that's for sure. It's got 65 little pads. So, yeah, I got that. My Rare Beauty um, eyeshadow primer is about to be over. So I got this Boost and Lock 12 Hour Wear Eye Primer. Um, from Sephora collection. I'm going to be trying that out. I'm going to do like TikToks after this. So that'll be that. A new um, 
before collecting vitamin C, right? Yeah, vitamin C plus E, super glow serum. So I already finished the one I have. So perfect because I needed it. They sell milk cosmetics and their stuff, a lot of it was 50% off. So, you know, to get another deal on top of that, I got the Perfectionist Brow Ultra Precision Pencil in dark brown. That's what the box looks like. Uh, let's see. I've never used their brow stuff. Oh, it's so cute and thin. Look at that. Got a little spoolie on one end, and then oh, it's like a little tiny ass teardrop. I don't know if you can see that. Cute. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna put this in my little lazy susan thing that i have there um stuff that was 50 percent off like from the nightmare before christmas collection because i wanted it when it first launched but i didn't want to spend the money on it i think i'm gonna keep the packaging so i got the color in master of fright so this one their matte color was not 50 percent off so i didn't get that one i just got the like coppery shimmer kind of one like let's see that is it, and I'll just swatch it. You can see it's like a coppery, pretty. Let's see if I can use that. I have two eyeshadow palettes, so I got two. Um, so yeah, <laughs> I got these. They're so cute. I'm definitely keeping the packaging. I love Nightmare Before Christmas. Uh, I don't know if you could tell, but I do. So let's see. And it has Oogie Boogie in the front. Uh, yeah, you could see Oogie Boogie up there. Let's see. Oh, it's got that lenticular motion thing. See that? And then, oh, so pretty. These are the shades in the Oogie Boogie Halloween Town one. Very nice. Mausoleum, the mayor. Okay. Down with Jack as Sandy Claus. Mm. Trying to be careful because I'm going to keep this packaging. I've made a terrible mess of your holiday. And then the lenticular motion here as well. Zeros down there. How freaking cute, man. This is like the best packaging ever. Oh, got some matte shimmers. Very nice. Right there, that's the color story. Very pretty. Oh, I don't know which one to choose. Well, they leave it in my comments, but I am going to film TikTok right now, so I have to pick one. So, I bought the, I already threw the box because I've already been using this. I bought the Charlotte Tilbury. Pillow Talk Serum. I don't know what she's calling these, but they're the ones that are the plumping. And they are plumping as far as the, the sensation. I can't ever tell when my lips get plump or not. So I just like the feeling, honestly. Like the Too Faced one doesn't hurt me. This one stings, but it doesn't hurt. Like none of them hurt, in my opinion, for me, like my pain tolerance. So I like it. I, I got the shade, um, the fair one, I think it's medium i was gonna get the medium i forget how they have it medium dark or medium deep one when i was at kohl's today but let's not get crazy with ourselves but yeah i got that i got brushes that i've already used well this one i've used the 96 brush it's so nice for blush like i like how flat it is um and then i got this what is it pro foundation number 47 brush it's just like a slanted um dense kind of brush that I, I like using these kinds for like cream bronzer cream blush I don't really use it for foundation so I guess I'll have to wait and see what I use it for but I'm a sucker for brushes man I don't need them but I sure do like them so there's ah oh, I'm fucking it up I'm fucking it up try this again wait okay so I got those brushes so these um, Sephora Micro Smooth powders were on sale for $7, like super clearance. So I'm sure they're reformulating or something. Um, they didn't have my shade for an actual 
finishing powder, but I picked up the shade Hazelnut to use as a bronzer. It's my sister bought it and it was very like I thought it was gonna be a lot darker, but I mean she used a um a fluffy brush so that it wasn't as pigmented. But yeah, I'm gonna give this a try as a bronzer. And then I got this little highlighter. The what shade is this? It's in the shade two, Sparkling Honey. It's the um, Luminizer from the Sephora Collection brand. Let's see. I didn't even check. Okay, it was not open or, or swatched. So let me do that. So that's the shade right there. It's funny because I'm like putting the freaking, when I do a, a swatch, I'm doing it to the freaking little view monitor thing I have on my phone instead of the actual camera. But that's that one there. And the last thing I purchased was the Fenty Beauty, I don't know what it's called, honestly, Eavesdrop. Eavesdrop. I, oh, I think it's just called Eavesdrop, but it's a foundation stick. So I got it in shade 9. That's the shade I'm in in their actual Easy Drops or Eavesdrops or whatever. So, water curl. It's, oh, did I fuck it up already? I sure did. I sure did. I got some of it there. Oh, well. So that's the shade. I'm going to give that one a try today as well. I'm doing a lot of try-ons today. But yeah, I think that's all that I... Oh, my bad. I think that's all that I got, which was a freaking lot for somebody that is broke as hell and is not um, sponsored or anything and just buys makeup because they like makeup. So I still have some other things on my um like on my wish list like i want to buy the makeup forever the new palette that they got because let me put this down because i'm going to new york in august and i want to have just the one palette i was going to get one from that salt new york brand but honestly money wise it makes more sense to get the makeup forever because it has so many more shades than just four little refillable ones that the salt new york one has so i'm probably going to get the makeup forever because the sale ends on the 15th, which is tomorrow. So I got to make up my mind. I have that in my, in my, what's it called? In my basket. <sighs> I forget what else I have because it's on my phone and I record on my phone. So I have all kinds of other stuff. If you guys see another little haul coming up, it's because I ended up purchasing it. Um, but yeah, that's the haul for today, guys. Um, I just want to say thank you to everybody that watched my unboxing video. That was awesome. That's the most views I've gotten in a, on an actual long youtube video and i want to appreciate everybody that, that has participated in the giveaway it's still running until um the last day to do it is april 30th because may 1st is i'm not taking any more um like not applications but you know what i mean like it you can't enter on may 1st so yeah i'm gonna go ahead and um work on that but i appreciate everybody that has subscribed and that has left comments and everything i appreciate every single one of you i've tried to reply to everybody so thank you for that and for following me on instagram uh, and if you haven't please make sure to go on my instagram and also follow there but um i mean subscribe here more importantly uh, i'm so close to 200 subscribers i would have never thought that that day would come i'm like oh my gosh um but yeah uh let me know what you guys want to see next i will be doing an odin's eye ranking because Somebody suggested that in my last video. They put that as a comment. And I was like, you know what? I have enough palettes to do a ranking. So I will do that. Um, so that will be coming later. But yeah, thank you everybody that has been here and has liked my content. I appreciate you guys. So thank you for that. And I will be seeing you guys in the next one. Make sure you go and look at my TikTok because I will be filming some makeup ones with the makeup I just unboxed here. So yeah. Thanks, guys. I'll see you later. Bye.